This is Dr. Paul Shen Law, a mathematics professor at Carnegie Mellon University and the national coach of the United States International Math Olympiad. In 2019, Professor Paul Shen Law developed a method to solve any quadratic equations using what we now call as the Paul Shen Law method. And this method is considered as a more efficient alternative to the quadratic formula. In this video, we are going to learn about the Paul Shen Law method for solving quadratic equations. In order to understand this method, we need to recall two things about quadratic equations. First, let's recall that the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is equal to negative b over a, where b is the coefficient of the x term and a is the leading coefficient, which is the coefficient of the x squared term. And second, let's remember that the product of the roots x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a, where c is the constant term and a is the coefficient of the leading term, and x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the two roots of the quadratic equation. With that as our preparation, let's demonstrate the Poisson law method using an example. Let's say we are going to solve for the roots of x squared minus 2x plus 8 over 9 equals 0. The first thing that we're going to do is let's call the two roots as x sub 1 and x sub 2, where x sub 1 is the left side root and x sub 2 is the root at the right side. Then let's find the midpoint of this line segment separating x sub 1 and x sub 2. How can we find this midpoint? What we can do is we can add the two roots, x sub 1 plus x sub 2, and then divide this by 2. But we know that the sum of the roots of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. And so if we divide it by 2, it's just the same as multiplying by 1 half. So negative b over a times 1 half will give us negative b over 2a. So therefore, this midpoint can be calculated by this formula, negative b over 2a. So let's calculate what's the value of negative b over 2a. Our b is negative 2, so negative of negative 2 over 2a, where our a is 1. So over 2 times 1. And this gives us a value of positive 1. So the coordinate now of our midpoint here is positive 1. Then since 1 is at the midpoint, then the distance from x sub 1 to 1 and the distance from 1 to x sub 2 must be the same. Let's call the distance as u. Let's use the letter u instead of d for distance because we can confuse it with the letter d for discriminant. So let's use the variable u. Now, our next step is to find the value of u. And based on our diagram, we can now represent the two roots x sub 1 and x sub 2 this way. To go to x sub 1 from the midpoint 1, we start at 1 and subtract u to arrive at x sub 1. That is now this first root. And to go to x sub 2 from 1, we add 1 plus u to get x sub 2. So our second root is represented as 1 plus u. And we know that the product of these two roots is equal to c over a, with 8 over 9 as our c, and our a is 1. So any number divided by 1 is still the number, so we have here 8 over 9. Notice that the left-hand side of this equation is a special product that will result to a difference of two squares. So multiplying now the quantity 1 minus u times the quantity 1 plus u, we arrive at this difference of two squares. The square of the first term is 1 squared or 1. The square of the second term is u squared. That's why you have here u squared, copy the minus sign, copy 8 over 9. And once you set up this equation, it's just a matter of manipulating this algebraically to find the value of u. So solving now for u squared, we have u squared is equal to 1 minus 8 over 9. And then 1 minus 8 over 9 is 1 over 9. 
and then get the square root of both sides, we get a value of u equals plus or minus the square root of 1 over 9, which can be simplified as u equals plus or minus 1 third. So what is this 1 third? That is our value of u. So from the midpoint going to x of 1, this distance, which we call as u, is equal to 1 third. And from 1 up to x sub 2, the distance, which we call as u, is also 1 over 3. In order to get the value of x sub 1, we subtract 1 minus u. So 1 minus 1 third is equal to 2 over 3. So our first root is 2 over 3. And solving now for the second root, we add 1 plus 1 third, where 1 third is our u again, we get a value of positive 4 over 3. Notice that even if we have here plus or minus 1 third, since we define u as the distance between x sub 1 and the midpoint 1, distance is always positive, so we take the positive value of u, which is 1 third. So 1 minus u is 1 minus 1 third, and 1 plus u is 1 plus 1 third. And so we arrive at these two roots. So this is the method which we call as the po Shen law. With more practice, this is easier to use than using the quadratic formula. So at this point, let's solve this quadratic equation using the po Shen law method. So this is our example number two. So again, the first thing that we have to do is to visualize x sub 1 and x sub 2. And then we are going to identify the midpoint of x sub 1 and x sub 2. And this midpoint is equal to negative b over 2a. And the technique here is if the leading coefficient is 1, just get the opposite sign of the coefficient here. So negative 1 and divide it by 2. So the midpoint is negative 1 half. And then imagine that you have this distance u and another distance u. Then using the midpoint, we have negative 1 half minus u times negative 1 half plus u is equal to c over a, which is this 1 over 1 or simply 1. And we know that this is a special product that results to the square of the first term negative one-half times negative one-half is one-fourth, minus the square of the second term, u squared, equals one. And solving for u squared, u squared is equal to one-fourth minus one. And so, u squared is negative three over four. Or u is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 4, which we can simplify further as, applying now our symmetric property, we write u first, u equals plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over the square root of 4, which is 2. And since we have here a square root of a negative number, we can represent this in terms of the imaginary unit i, so we have u equals plus or minus i times the square root of 3 over 2. And solving now for our root, our x of 1 is equal to negative 1 half minus i square root of 3 over 2, and our x of 2 is equal to negative 1 half plus i square root of 3 over 2. And since you have here a common denominator of 2, we can write x sub 1 equals negative 1 minus i square root of 3 all over 2. And x sub 2 is equal to negative 1 plus i square root of 3 all over 2. So notice that even if the roots are imaginary, the po shen Lu method works. And in my experience, this is easier to use than using the quadratic formula. And you will also notice that this drawing, this first line, these are repetitive process that you can start right away at this point. You can just square whatever is the middle and then minus u squared equals 
whatever is C over A. So once you become more proficient using this, this could be your starting point. And once you set up this equation, the only difficult part here is extracting the square root. Other than that, everything is just a simple application of solving equations. So let's have one more example so you become more familiar with this new method. Now let's have another example. Find the roots of 2x squared plus 9x plus 7 equals 0. So the first thing that we're going to do is we can visualize the two roots. You have x sub 1 and x sub 2. We need to find what is the midpoint of x sub 1 and x sub 2. And we said this midpoint is negative b over 2a, where our b is 9, so negative b is negative 9 over 2 times 2, which is 4. Once you identified the midpoint of the two roots, then we can set up our equation, that is the square of negative 9 over 4 minus u squared is equal to c over a, which is 7 over 2. Notice that in here, I already jumped to the difference of two squares because we already know that when you set up the equation again, you have to multiply negative 9 over 4 minus u times negative 9 over 4 plus u, and that special product would always result to this difference of two squares. So with experience, you know that you're going to start with this equation. The midpoint squared minus u squared equals c over a. That's always the case with the Poisson law method. And then simplifying this, negative 9 over 4 times negative 9 over 4 is positive 81 over 16 minus, we can now subtract 7 over 2, and then we add u squared to both sides to get u squared at the right. And then 81 over 16 minus 7 halves is equal to 25 over 16 equals u squared. And then solving for u, we can get the square root of both sides, put the plus or minus sign here, so we have u is equal to plus or minus 5 over 4. Now since we already defined what is the distance from the midpoint to x sub 1, that distance is 5 over 4, and this distance here also is 5 over 4, then x sub 1 is equal to the midpoint negative 9 over 4 minus 5 over 4, which gives us x sub 1 equals negative 14 over 4 or negative 7 over 2. And x sub 2 is equal to the midpoint negative 9 over 4 plus 5 over 4 which gives us x sub 2 is equal to negative 4 over 4. So just like that, you already know the roots of this quadratic equation. That's why I found this Poisson law method very interesting, considering that this method is very, very new. And I guess in the near future, this process will become part of the high school curriculum this method will become part of the standard methods for solving any quadratic equation. And we have Dr. Paul Shenlo to thank for, for this method. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.